y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This is known as the standard form of a quadratic equation. Here is an example. y equals 2x squared minus 4x minus 30. The graph of this equation will either be a smiley face or a sad face. Both shapes are called a parabola. Today, we will learn to identify the correct face and where it's placed on the Cartesian plane. Good day, guys. This is the math base. To get started with this equation, let's start the a, b, and c values. Now, to draw a parabola, you need four things the x and y intercepts, the turning point, and the final direction. What is the final direction? It is the way your parabola eventually goes, which is either up or down. Let's do this first so we know what to expect at the end. Step one get the final direction from the a value. When it's positive, the graph finishes up. When it's negative, it finishes down. This A is positive too, so it will have an upward stroke at the end. So we can expect to see a smiley face once we draw it out. Step 2. Find the y-intercept. This one's easy. It's literally our c value of negative 30. Yep, that's it. So the y-intercept is 0, comma negative 30. Step 3. Find the turning point. Keep in mind, h is an x value and k is a y value. The turning point sits on the axis of symmetry, so we first find h by using the axis of symmetry formula, negative b on 2a. Plug in the a and b values to find h is positive 1. To find k, which is a y value, use the quadratic equation itself. Sub positive 1 in and it works out to be negative 32. So our turning point is 1 comma negative 32. Step number four, find the x-intercepts. In the standard form, this is the most difficult thing to find, which is why I left it for last. Firstly, find the discriminant using b squared minus 4ac. This will tell us if x-intercepts even exist for this parabola, so as to not waste our time if they don't. Plug in our abc values and it works out to be 256. This value is positive, meaning there are two x-intercepts, meaning we're not wasting our time. All right, so to find these fellows, we need the quadratic formula of x equals negative b plus minus the square root of the discriminant over 2a. Plug in all that we know, and it simplifies to 4 plus minus 16 over 4. This splits into two parts, the plus and minus versions, giving us our two x-intercepts, 5 and negative 3. The only thing left to do now is to put it all in the pot and see what comes out. Plot out all the points we found and draw a smiley face through. Remember to label the points and write the equation. And there we have it, a parabola using only the standard form. I could have done this in so many easier ways, but that would require using the other two quadratic forms. In the next two videos, I'll show how much easier they are for drawing a parabola so that you guys can decide for yourselves how you want to mix and match the techniques that best suit your approach to a quadratic problem. So if you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please leave a like and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I upload videos every Thursday, so subscribe and ring the bell to stay in touch. Thanks guys, see you next time!